Hi, I'm Isaac with Red Castle Outdoors. Um, thank you for watching this video and on all the videos that I've put up on my channel. Um, I hope you've enjoyed all the filleting and skinning and how to gut a fish and all that kind of stuff. So um, I just want to be helpful to those that are watching my channel and making sure that you guys uh, are enjoying what I'm putting up. So uh, today it's five in the morning and I'm heading up into on a fishing trip for six days. We're going up to my favorite place in Utah called uh, Red Castle Lakes. I actually named my video production company Red Castle Media because I love this place so much and this will be my third time going back up in there. It's uh, about a 14 mile hike to the lower lake and then a few miles to each lake from there. Today I wanted to kind of show you though the gear that I was going to be using for this particular trip. Now it's a uh, for my, for my situation, it was very difficult to find a backpack that I felt um, would do everything I needed it to do. Because I love fishing, so I'm gonna be fishing. And I also love, you know, making sure I have all the, the comforts of, of backpacking. And, um, and then also, I, I film. I needed a pack that could, could pack all that stuff in there for me, since it is gonna be six days I have to pack really really light so I'm only gonna be I'm only gonna be bringing a few articles of clothing and stuff like that so I just kind of wanted to show you what uh, what I am packing now if you guys when you watch this video have any suggestions I'd love to hear them yeah we're just here to you know share uh, our tips and stuff like that just share with each other you know make this a community thing so I also wanted to make sure you guys knew that now I'm not getting paid by any of these companies that that of the gear that I purchased. Um, this is just the gear that I found. All right, here's my backpack. Um, it's the F-Stop Suka, and just as an FYI, if you're gonna order one of these bags, make sure you order it about six months in advance because they're going through some issues with shipping and uh, uh, keeping these things in stock. So anyways. Just as an FYI. So this is a great pack. It's got a ton of pockets, ton of ways to hold all your gear and stuff like that. So for my for my needs as a as a videographer, I needed a pack I could keep my camera equipment safe. Um, so if you look in there, this this is what's called an ICU. It's an internal camera unit. And I'll show you what real quickly what that is. Right. This up, but I've, I'm able to put my lens in here. 16 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens. I've got uh, my plate for my glide cam, lens hood. I've got a Rode video mic for sound. I'm just going to be shooting on a Canon 5D Mark II. And just a few other accessories. Now I'm carrying, I'm taking five, taking five batteries and then three, uh, three compact flash cards. 32 gig, two 32 gigs and a 64 gig to capture everything I need while I'm up there. So I've just got uh, a rod by Gen X. My fishing reel is by Abu Garcia and both of them are not very expensive. Uh, not very expensive rod and reel, it's just uh, they work well and I haven't needed anything more than that for for what I'm catching. Um, more importantly, the one I'm going to be using most of the time is a fly rod by Temple Fork Outfitters. Now the one I found here is a five piece which is great for backpacking. As you can see the, the rod holder is pretty small. I don't have to carry in this big old huge long pole. So I've got my my nephew here. He's gonna kinda just show what I'm using. So I've got a light jacket from Columbia Sportswear. And then I've got a another just a warm insert that goes into that uh, lighter jacket from Columbia as well. A fishing vest from Sports Afield. And what's great about this vest is along the collar there is it's got a nice uh, padded 
collar so you don't like it doesn't wear out your neck when you're fishing all day long so and it's got plenty of pockets and everything i'm using a 15 degree sleeping bag from big agnes and then their green ridge uh, sleeping pad small little pillow from nemo we'll find out how good that is i first time used for that i've got a little half a mess kit from all of me i just bought that and trimmed down what i didn't need got a headlamp these socks are awesome they're uh, called darn tough they're from a company out in vermont and they will keep your your feet dry um, you can wear them multiple times they aren't going to stink these have a lifetime warranty so if you happen to burn them in the fire or anything and you've got a piece of them left just send it in and they'll send you back a brand new pair for free so those are those are pretty awesome I'm only taking one extra shirt it's just a nice uh, polyester fast wicking shirt for those that are going to be wanting to fillet their fish I just bring up just a roll of paper towels I've got my four inch uh, fillet knife that I'll be laying the fish on and I'll show you how I do that um, we'll just try and find a good log or rock to fillet on and then for those of you who watched my um, amazing fish recipe video this is the fish mix here that I'll be using we're gonna be eating oatmeal in the morning um, hot chocolate and uh, and then we just found some instant potatoes now, if you're getting any of these kind of instant dinner type things, you always want to make sure it's, it, it says just add water because when you're backpacking in there, you're not going to be able to haul in a bunch of milk and stuff like that. I've got some cliff bars for, throughout the day and then some protein bars. You got You always have to take jerky when you're going backpacking. Get, get your protein. And uh, you know, on a personal note, no, you guys know what that's for. Um, and then I'll be I'll be hauling in this uh, uh, this glide cam here to to get some cool shots. Hopefully I don't die because it's pretty heavy. If you get any of the f-stop bags, you can buy this bag here. Uh, it's a it's to hold a tripod, but I'm actually gonna stuff my sleeping bag into here and then all my food. And what makes this this bag great is that once you get up there, you can bring some cord and tie it onto this little ring right here, and then hoist your all your food up into the tree so the bears and different animals don't get into your food. For my water, I have a Camelback. It's a 70 ounce one, and it'll fit right in that F-stop bag uh, just nicely, and the bag has all the attachments to for any kind of water reservoir that you're gonna be using. And then F-stop also has a water reservoir bag so that the rest of your bag doesn't get all wet, so I'll be putting that in here and throwing it in the bag. As you can see, I've got all my stuff packed in in, uh, in my bag, so I'm gonna weigh it and see how much it weighs. You wanna keep your pack at 25% your body weight or less. That's all I have to show you for now. Um, and I'll see you when we get up there. In between two o'clock and 10 o'clock. So when you're catching, right in the bucket. So now